This is the Mazda Kony SE. Mazda grinders have been around for years. If you've worked in coffee, you've probably worked on a Mazda grinder, and I'm really stoked that they've upgraded the Mazda E. It does come in a manual version as well, but today I'm looking at the SE. So the S is the new model. Um, there's a lot of features that I like, some things that I don't. So today I really want to talk you through the features of the machine, some of the specs, where we use it, why we use it, and and whether it's going to suit you and your your coffee shop. So. Um, firstly, I guess comparing the old from the new, there's some new tech in there. So it now has a digital display screen, gives us a lot more control than the last one. Obviously the last one had the buttons on there, but it was a little bit more challenging to use the menu. It's a little bit less intuitive. So I found the screen to be quite an upgrade. Um, some of the usual features, nice big hopper. There's a kilo of coffee in there. Um, there's just the general build and look of it is beautiful. It's a, it's a good looking grinder. It works well in all coffee shops. Now I've seen this grinder in from, you know, any coffee machine to the high end, nice spaces. So it does fit in quite nicely. Um, just the build, the machining of the, of the actual grinder itself is beautiful. So, um, big, big ups to Mazza. There's nice little pieces on here like the Mazda badge. Um, you've got nice little upgrades like the on off switch has been upgraded and that's just for the user, a really nice experience. So features of this grinder. So starting from the top, there is a small space here that will actually hold a tasting card. Nice little touch, nice big grinder. That, um, so nice big hopper, that is a kilo of coffee. So that then drops down. We've got a nice hopper slide there. The grind is a stepless um, grind adjustment. So from ease of use, it's nice and smooth. Obviously the older ones did get a little bit stiff and really because it is a new product, we're still testing it over time, but I'm very um, trustful that Maz has always done a great job of producing grinders that can last for years and years and years. So um, I'd say that is a very nice um, stepless grind adjustment there that makes it easy for all all staff, anyone will easily be able to adjust that grind. Now, the digital display screen has got to be the biggest upgrade on this. It allows me to easily get into the menu. I can change between using the buttons on the top. There is three different sizes. Obviously, if you had different size portafilters filters and baskets, we'd be able to adjust to suit them. For us here, we only ever use a double basket. We're grinding 22 and a half grams of coffee we're using one of those buttons. So it's not as much use to us personally, but if you had single handle baskets, single spout baskets or double spout baskets, you can set them up individually. And you've now got the third button there if you had another one as well. Um, I've found the menu, again, like I said, to be really intuitive, easy to get into, easy to change. You can switch between using the buttons or you can switch to the portafilter holder button. So I've actually only used the electronic version of this grinder. So I've never actually used the manual version. Have you got one? Is it any good? Put it in the comments below because I'd love to get the feedback on it. And if you know a comparison between the two, um, what you really like about it. So, but for me, I'm always trying to manage our dose and we've gone for the electronic. Now, this portafilter holder is, is definitely a new step. It used to just be the two prongs there that would sit your portafilter in it. Um, pros and cons of the portafilter holder. It's great if you want to grind into your portafilter. It's not something that we actually do in a lot of our spaces. We use dosing pots. So for me, the little arms that sit on here, I actually take them off because for me to be able to hold a dosing pot on there easily, once I've teared that dosing pot, I put it up there and I grind into that, I actually need that to stay steady and fall off. And with the little arms for the portafilter holder on there, it does fall off, so I do remove them, which means you can't kind of do one or the other. That would be potentially a con if you're going, but I guess if you're setting up your grinder a certain way and using dosing pots, 
It shouldn't matter. You shouldn't have anyone filling up a port filter anyway. Um, but if you are going straight into a port filter, it's quite nice. I would say that it does allow, because it holds it and you do walk away, I would say that I don't enjoy the, the kind of pile of coffee that it creates if you're not actually collapsing that as you go or doing a little stop for a moment to actually get that coffee to fall into the basket. There is sometimes the risk that when you take your handle out, the coffee falls out, which is obviously bad when you're trying to follow a recipe, you've got your dose um, set up and you, want, you don't want to lose that coffee. So I would say it's a bit challenging. You've got to keep an eye on that. But all in all, it's a pretty nice improvement to this grinder. So you can put your handle in and use the activation button with your portafilter. filter. You can use a dosing pot and remove the arms if you need to. But as of right now, we haven't found a solution for a scales tray to sit on there like you might have seen our other videos with the amp from. We've been able to find something to hold onto the scales. So if you know where I can get one, put in the comments below. I think everyone would really benefit from knowing that. Little features like their, their tray, simple and easy to remove and clean. Um, the on off button and just general aesthetics of this grinder is really nice. Now, I've used this grinder over the past year in a few different cafes, um, but I've also seen them in coffee trailers. There's a few different areas that they really suit. Like I said, you can do the high end thing, but it depends on your flavor profile that you're looking for as well. Now, they are a conical burr grinder. So traditionally, a conical burr will, will produce good full body flavor. You might not get the clarity and the potential sweetness that you can get out of a flat burr grinder. And that's why personally, for our Champion blend, we are using a, a flat burr grinder, but I, I have other blends that we use this grinder for that brings out a really nice flavor and experience with that coffee. So if you're looking at a grinder and you're in this ballpark and you're trying to consider things, especially if you're looking at the Mazza range and there's the Major and there's the Coney and really what's the difference, um, one of the big differences will definitely be the burr set that's in there and whether that suits your coffee. So if you have the opportunity, definitely try to put your coffee through flat burst, conical burst, so that you can experience the taste difference because it does make a difference to the flavor of your coffee. So this machine, like I said, it's been around for years because they are very good at manufacturing machines. They do produce them in Italy. All of the parts are completely replaceable and serviceable. Um, and for a service technician, they're quite easy to service. We can service them on the spot in your cafe. They're not one that we have to really pull out to work on. You can work on them pretty quick and have nice, easy access. And they do zero back and calibrate quite easily. Um, and the, the birds are definitely um, far easier to find and replace, which can be a bit of a challenge with different grinders that aren't so common in the industry. Um, from a service technician point of view, they're quite easy to install straight out of the box. The, the settings are quite good. If you are putting it into a coffee trailer, there is the ability to attach it to the bench quite easily through the feet. That has been a benefit of this grinder. Um, it doesn't have so many movable parts. So if you are in a trailer or a venue that's gonna move and rattle around, um, you really wanna make sure you've got a good solid grinder that's not gonna vibrate and not all grinders are built that way. So I would definitely be um, I always recommend this for those scenarios. They do also have a 12 month warranty. Ideally, you can buy that from anywhere, but if you can find a good supplier like ourselves, a good rotary or service technicians that will support that warranty for you, it's a, uh, I don't think you're gonna need it, but you wanna be sure. One thing that we haven't had the time to test is the reliability on technology. Of course, technology is great, it's improving our world, but as far as moving from um, the solid state grinders that we've always had, to now introducing some technology screens. There is a battery under there that will need to be replaced at times. So you've got to consider that. Um, I think it's an improvement, but it is definitely something we're gonna see over, over time and see if it stands the test of time. Um, but I know my service technicians are very happy that this just slides open that can access the chute without the cord that came off when you pulled the old Mazda E um, like computer off. It would just hang from a cord. To be honest, the most work we ever did on those grinders was just replacing the cord. So um, that is a really nice new feature to be able to access the, the chute there. And of course, Mazda's safety features have always been a benefit. Not all grinders actually have safety features. You can't take the hopper off and access the burrs without turning off the grinder. So safety features has always been a benefit of this grinder for sure.
So this grinder, um, because of the conical burrs, is actually a little bit quieter than some of the flat burrs, which a lot of people like to have a quieter um, cafe. So that's one thing to consider. Um, so we're gonna run a grind now, but we're also gonna see how long it takes. So grind time is also a part of your workflow. So you wanna make sure that it's quick enough for your service. Um, this grinder right now, set to eight seconds. Let's see how loud it is. All right. I think in a noisy cafe, I can still I can still talk over that. And in our eight second grind time, we achieved 23.4 grams of coffee. So if my recipe is, is 22.5, I'd actually achieve that in less than eight seconds, which is pretty quick for a grinder. It's not as quick as some of the, the higher end grinders, but that with, with that 420 revolutions per minute uh, motor in there, it's a reasonably quick grinder so there's there is others that will go to that six second if you are going for really fast high-end specialty experience but um i'm pretty happy with that grind time it's once you get to the majors and you add that couple of seconds um you also get to a jolly and you're looking more like 14 seconds that really affects your flow and your workflow in your cafe so the coney does sit at a grind time that's relative to the process of making coffee. And that is a big consideration when you're um, making coffee in your cafe and choosing the grinder that suits you. All right, so what's it worth? What's a good grinder worth? So right now, late 2022, these grinders I can pick up for $3,190. Is that expensive? Is it not? Um, depend on your budget, what you're really looking for. What are you paying for? You're paying for good quality high conical burrs. You're paying for good build that money is gonna last you a lot longer than going for a cheaper grinder with, with a cheaper build. And that's really what you're paying for in good quality grinders. You want them to be reliable, serviceable. You want them to last the test of time. And that money is, is money well spent. It's also about your baristas and the experience that they're having. Um, it's easy to unblock if, it, if you somehow do end up in a more really fine grind, you somehow block it. It's quite easy to unblock going coarse. Um, it's quite easy to troubleshoot. Any technician's going to find it easy to troubleshoot it over the phone um, and replace parts really easily. So the experience for the barista is, is another part of, I guess, where that money is well spent and they, they will enjoy the experience of using the grinder. So I think, it's, I think it's money well spent. I do have to let you know that if you're in Australia and you need some help buying any coffee equipment, be it grinders, machines, anything, we service and support that. So. Be sure to reach out through the contact details on our site, um, DM us through Instagram, any way that you can get in touch. We're happy to help um, support you on your journey to buying the right equipment for your cafe. So would I personally recommend this grinder? Definitely, it's a great grinder, but you've got to consider all of the reasons that you're recommending it. So I, for me, would be considering the coffee that you're using it for, um, making sure that it's the right flavor that you're getting. The grind time is a factor on workflow. Um, does it look and feel um, specialty coffee and in, and in the cafe and the setup and other equipment that you've got, does it work? Does the functionality suit you with that um, portafilter or with the dosing pot? So you've got to consider all these things. There are definitely other grinders that I use for higher end stuff that are doing higher volumes or looking for a certain clarity out of their coffee that I might go to that flat burr. But yes, I would recommend this grinder for, the, for a comfortable, um, reliable grinder that's in a cafe, maybe not doing a huge amount of volume, but great reliability, great grinder, um, and at a reasonable price point. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of this, and if you're in the market for buying a new grinder, you now have an idea of whether this grinder is gonna suit your cafe. Like I said, get in touch if, if you have any questions, but put them in the comments below. The community is really helpful, and we answer those questions as well. Make sure you do hit the like button and the bell icon so you get notified of all future videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's great content out, whether it's content about cafes, grinders, machines, all these things that we can help you with. Keep watching, plenty more to come. We'll see you next time. Cheers.